All right, welcome back. Hey, let's do a nice little end-to-end -end use case of Raptorium. Basically, how you can mine this stuff and how you can actually make passive income off it as well. The Raptorium ecosystem, which is set up, which I'm doing right now, is really kind of a great use case, a great example of what you can do as a miner just by stacking coins, mining coins, stacking coins, and in addition to stacking the coins, you can put them into a smart node and start getting compounded uh, rewards, uh, Raptorium, on top of the coins you already mined. Therefore, you're making passive income on the coins you created or rewarded for doing the mining on Raptorium. It's really a great use case. A great use case to show you how you can use crypto and grow, I mean, not just in coins, but just grow the amount you have through the compounding. So let's go through it. What you are looking at right here is one of my mining machines where I do GPU mining, but I have uh, the uh, actual Raptorium core wallet installed on here. Yeah. So if you look at my Raptorium core wallet, this is where I receive all of my Raptorium from my Minifacil pool to which I am mining. And that is over here, right here, right here in the upper left, you see the pool and you see all my stats and I'm going to click a refresh here. You can see my payouts. And in an older video, maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe more, I was using, I uh, went from flock pool to O11 data. O11 data is no more. And then I went over to Supernova. And I said, let me try this mini fossil, mini fossil, whatever. And I noticed that, man, I'm getting a lot more Raptorium on this pool. Almost maybe, let's see, 60% hmm, more. I was getting 120 and I was almost now getting 200 sometimes on Raptorium. It's crazy. So it's almost like sometimes it does benefit to switch things up, try new things, maybe just on one rig, on one CPU and see how it does for you. I just moved it all over, said, man, in for a pound, baby, I'm going for it. No guts, no glory. It paid off. Uh, again, it's small, it's small money fiat wise, but again, to me, it's like exciting to see how the whole thing works. So on here, you see all my payments on mining and you see all my workers down here. I got eight. I better have eight. I don't know why it's showing 16. It's somehow, oh, well, maybe it's messed up. It looks like it's duplicating a couple, maybe. Oh, well. So there, maybe there's a little glitch there. But anyway, that's the first time I saw 16. I do have eight. And those are all mine. The Rocco Taco. The Rocco Taco rigs, baby. They don't bitch and moan. They just get the job done. And what's the other saying? No fluff, just stuff. Stuff means raptorium in my hand, making me passive income. All right, enough of that crap. So here is the Metaphysical pool, baby. Look at that. Working hard. Love it. Blah, blah, blah. So then as this baby mines, and you see my payout here, say 23.599, that is unpaid. But over here, you see what's been paid. Uh, let's see, it cleared 12.12 at 11.7. 12.12 at 11.7. Maybe those are it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they combine them. I guess that's how it works. Uh, <laughs> in general, I get paid out to this uh, Rap uh, Raptorium Coral Wallet. Okay, that's all great. Woohoo! Everyone else in the mother does that, right? But what you can do also is move this Raptorium right here. There's all my Raptorium for the maybe not even a week, maybe a couple, maybe four days. Uh, you can take this Raptorium and move it into a smart node right here on inode Z, and you move it to this onboarding address. It's like a holder, and you can also set your miner up. On this guy, the Bidifacil mining pool to which you're mining. And you can set when you set this up and you're mining, and I am doing XM rig. So an XM rig, what you can do, what you can do is you can put this address right here, this onboarding address, and that stuff you mine. Oh, it's slow. Right here, blah blah blah. Instead of getting dumped to your Raptorium core wallet, it can then get dumped over. That's not it. That's so oh god. This is it right here, and you will see it show up. <clears throat> you will see it. Where are we, folks? Doki doki dokes. Right here. There's US. Again, not much money, but it's better than zero, right? 
but I like I like that number better because the hope is the hopium with crypto is that it goes up again. So here is Raptori. I'm looking at money pull stats, and you see it has inched up a little bit. 0.013. It used to be higher, like 0.04. So if that puppy goes back to 0.08, I think it was at 0.08 one time. Bam! That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of nice little uh, cash difference there from just taking the coins and doing you know just cashing out or whatever. I bought, I held, I stuck an I node Z, moved it to the onboarding address. It goes over to here. I get my total rewarded. Here's my estimated daily rewards. Kablamo. While you are sleeping, this is adding up. And the goal for me is just keep, I want to get to 30,000. So I want to double this. And I'm going to actually move stuff over right now so you can see it in action. So does that all make sense? I'm mining it on a mining pool. The Raptorian gets sent to my Raptorian core wallet and or this onboarding address right here. I can send it directly. And the only reason I don't do that is because I couldn't figure out a way to track that using this site. I couldn't figure out how they track it. So there's probably a way. I just didn't see it. I'm lazy. I didn't read everything. So right now I do it by hand. And what I mean by that is I go over to the dashboard. I look at my addresses. I look at my address and I uh, right here it is. I copy it to my buffer. Blammo. The old Blammo copy buffer. Oh, I had a test. Get rid of that. Um, I want to go send. I want to go in here. I want to pay to that onboarding address. Blammo, Blammo, one, uh, RCB. Why, I always check. La, 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 be by the gate. And I'll go back and double check. Yep. And if you want to send me some of your Raptorium, here's my address. Send me all your Raptorium. That would be much appreciated. Uh, let's see. We are back over here. We're going to do that. I already have it uh, commented. And let's just send over. What do I got? Oh, my God. Where's my balance? You see, oh, here it is. Bottom right is my balance. And since I usually rolled in, I think, twice a week, I think, I can't remember, it'll pick up and put into a smart node. And the more you get, the more rewards you get, and the more uh, uh, achievements you get, too. And we'll go look at that in a sec. Uh, let's see. Let's do 1249. No guts, no glory, as we always say. And I can't type. 1249. So it's going to do 1249. I do that. I said, that's okay. My address looks excellent. BY6H. And da 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 all right, that looks good, and I'm going to say send. There it goes. It took a while there for some reason. All right, so I want to send 1249. Correcto mundo up to my wallet, RCB BY6H. I'm always paranoid, so I double, triple check. Of course, I have an eidetic memory. I have an eidetic memory that doesn't work. So I double check. La, 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 la. All right, and let's say yes. And now that is it. That's all you have to do if you don't directly mine to the Rambori address. It'll get, uh, what's gonna happen now? See, there's the transaction, 1249. And now you gotta wait for about eight confirmations on the peer-to-peer uh, -peer network. That's how it works to make sure all looks good. And it's going to dump into that onboarding address once I get that many. And it should show you in here somewhere unconfirmed. So it's a zero out of zero out of unconfirmed. It roughly takes 10 to 15 minutes. And once that happens, that's it, man. It goes into inodes over here. Dashboard. My stats. And we're going to wait to see that pop up in the onboarding address. So let's pause right here i'm gonna grab a reese's peanut butter cup and some coffee yeah that's how i roll all right all right man uh yeah let's just we'll come back when this uh gets uploaded i know you guys i know the i know the uh the anticipation is just incredible it's uh it just truly is all right hold on all right you little bastards we're back and let's check what is going on and i know z right now let's see it's only been like 10 minutes Oh, and I have my Reese cup and some coffee, and I'm happy as a pig in poop. All right, let's do it.
my stats. Carblamo. Look at that, folks. Magic, magic, magic. That is how you roll. That's how it's done. Now what is going to happen is I don't know. Let's go look at the question mark. There you go. Read that. Kids, read that and let me know what you think. Your balance of RTM, that has not been allocated to a smart node yet. I know Z will check the balance of your onboarding address every 10 minutos. Once we accumulate the required collateral from all users, this balance will and shall be placed into a new smart node. And I will begin earning that yummy sweet word of life, rewards. This process can take a few hours and be or can be a few hours to a whole day. Please be patient. Yeah, if you're impatient about this, then you got another problem in life. Anyway, there it is. The Raptorium has been moved to the onboarding address. And it is going to get rolled into a smart node. And uh, that's going to go up by what? Uh, let's just guess. 1,200. So, uh, yeah, 14, 14, 15. Yeah, get up to 15K. A little over 15K Raptorium. Halfway. You are with me. Folks, do you realize you are with me on my journey? Halfway point to 30,000 RTM in my iNodes, iNodes uh, smart nodes setup. And sometimes they say it's not the destination, it's the journey. Nah, it's the destination because I want to get there. I want to get there and get that Raptorium compounding. I want to get my rewards from the, the bikini girls and the Raptorium girls, whatever they have at Raptorium land where they come out and you go, yay, you did it. And that's what I'm waiting for. So there you go. A little nice use case, real world, real numbers, real wallets that you're all going to use to give me all your Raptorium and make me a happy camper. Nah, only if you want to tip me. All right. Tipping is always welcome. Uh, yeah. All right, just bullshitting around, guys. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. Alternative was to leave the little Raptorium just sitting here, rotting away by itself, hoping, having that uh, desire, that hopium, that Raptorium will go to $50 million a coin, or even a dollar would be nice. And then, you know, I could buy Bill Gates and make him clean my toilets. Uh, that would be the That would be the plan. All right, I am out. There, there it is. Fun little video for y'all to see how it's all done. And it's really cool. It's a good way to get in there. And you're not you're not investing a lot of money of your own. You're basically mining. And you can just use a few CPUs if you want. Uh, it's not a big barrier to entry cost-wise, equipment-wise. Not like those damn GPUs, which are 1000 bucks a pop, which are going to set you back. Well, you'll never get your ROI. So that's what you got to be thinking of. And this is kind of a hobby. Start small. Get in with some CPU. Get a Ryzen 9 3900. Spend 500 bucks on a motherboard. You can get everything for under 700 bucks. Up and rolling. Kablamo. And you know, start getting a couple Raptorium here and there. If you like it. If you get it. You see the beauty of compounding. Do more. Do more. Do more. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah. Each just sitting around watching TV. Wasting away. All right. I'm out. Take care. I will talk to y'all later. All right. Let's go. Where's the old stop button?